Figure shows a glass flask full of water at 10 degrees Celsius and sealed with a bung. A long glass tube passes through the bung into the water. The water level in the tube is at X. When the flask is placed in hot water, the water level initially falls a little below X and then rises some way above X. Suggest why the water level initially falls. Okay, let's imagine here what happened. This is our flask, and this is the level of water in the thin tube. If the flask is heated by any means, you can heat it by a flame. The question says that the flask is heated by putting the whole flask in hot water. Okay, there is no problem. The first thing to receive heat is the glass body of the flask. This is a solid, so it will expand. The size of the flask increases and the water level falls. So we can say that why the water level initially falls? Because glass flask receives heat, so it expands and its volume increases. One mark for saying that the glass flask will receive heat and the other mark is for that it expands. Question double I. Suggest why the water level then rises. Again, let's understand what happens. If you continue heating, now the water level will start to rise up even more than the normal initial level. This is because now heat reaches the water inside the flask, so the water will start to expand. That's why the water level will rise even above the initial level of the water in the first diagram. So we can say, after the flask heats up, water starts to receive heat, so it expands. One mark for that water starts to receive heat, and the second mark for water will expand. Question triple I. Suggest why the rise is greater than the fall. Again, back to our example. When water level initially falls, this is the amount of falling shown by the black arrow. Then it expands more above the original level. So, as you see, the amount of rise in the level is much more the amount the water has fallen by. Because water is liquid. Liquid expands much more than solid. This causes the amount of rise much greater the amount of fall. We say that water as a liquid expands more than the flask, which is a solid. Question B. Suggest a change to the apparatus that would make the fall and rise of the water level to be greater. Simply, you can use a narrower tube. If you repeat the experiment using a narrower tube, the amount of fall and the amount of rise will be greater than before. The mark scheme also gives other possibilities here, like using a bigger flask. A bigger flask means larger amount of water, so the expansion will be much more. Also, you can say, use a liquid that expands more. Of course, this will give greater expansion.